Hi, I'm Adil. Uh, I play bass for the Cognac Net, and you're watching Rhythm Nation TV. Uh, it started off uh, when I was uh, like I think eight or nine years old. Uh, one of my best friends, uh, who I kind of grew up with, like we drifted apart, and then he came back to India and he started playing guitar. So I thought it was cool, and I started playing guitar, and then that kind of evolved into this whole journey where I eventually switched to bass and just started doing a lot of shows throughout college and. You know, started getting good, started writing stuff with uh, you know other people, and then yeah, now I'm here. I, I teach music as well. I also I do sessions and compose for other stuff as well. But primarily a live live musician. Our bass player left, and we had two guitarists. And I started off playing guitar, and I wasn't as good as the other guy. I was just playing chords and stuff, and so we didn't really need two guitars. So I said, you know, why not? I'll start playing bass. We don't need to look for a bass player. And I just started getting really good at it. Started doing a lot more shows. I was self-taught for a while, and eventually I started taking lessons, and you know, that spiraled into a whole other thing. It's, it's kind of happened without me really thinking about it. I, I was playing with a couple of bands throughout college and then after that like my parents kind of gave me this ultimatum of like, okay, you, we know you're playing music and that, that's going well, but you also need to think about your future, so you, maybe you should get a job. And like I managed to hook up a job where I was, it was also kind of connected to, you know, just being in the music industry and making playlists for hotels and stuff like that. So I was doing that for a while and playing shows and then it reached a point where I was just playing a lot of shows and it became really hard to manage both of them and then I just kind of decided like this is not a place that I want to be in. I want to be playing music only and I don't want to have any other, any other commitments like holding me back and then I just made that decision like probably three years after graduating college. It was pretty awesome actually. I was uh, young, I think, at the time when we, we did have like a, a music video and you did this live thing which just showed up and then it was like, wow, this is actually going somewhere. I'm, I'm now on TV. It, it's relevant. It's not just something that's going on in my head and or with my friends. It's like, it's a real thing. I actually teach in a music school, so I really am a firm believer of regular practice. So I practice every day for at least an hour. Uh, we rehearse with our bands like every week without fail, at least once, so that we kind of keep going further and writing new stuff. And you know, if there's gigs coming up, obviously we rehearse a lot more, like almost like every other day. But I try and keep like a bare minimum of like at least an hour every day of just like you know running through material or just doing some technique stuff. Because I feel like you, if you get, if you disconnect from regular practice, like you go back. I got really interested in music because of punk rock. Like I grew up on a lot of pop, pop punk bands uh, from like the 90s and 2000s, like you know Blink 182 and Sum 41 and Green Day. Were like the bands that made made it really cool and made it really fun because of their banter and just like the music was fun it was easy to learn at the time because like everyone was new to playing instruments so punk rock is a very accessible genre and it give you a sense of like yeah I can play like even like Nirvana was actually a, one of my biggest influences like growing up when I started playing guitar I was I made it a point to learn every single Nirvana song so that like if I met someone who was a fan I'd be like check it out I know every song <laughs> I think it was Holiday by Green Day. So my family is not exactly musical, but they do love music. I grew up listening to a lot of music because my dad, he's a huge fan of jazz and he used to, I mean, he grew up listening to a lot of like Miles Davis and Coltrane, like all the standards and like, I mean, all the, a lot of jazz. So I just had that, I, I mean, it was around me at the time.
so I, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. There's uh, Parachutes by Coldplay. Like it's it's like their first album, and like Coldplay's changed a lot, but that album is like a masterpiece in just terms of songwriting and like longevity in a way because the music is still good now and it's super well written. And I feel like Coldplay has at least that album has influenced my playing in a way and just how I think about certain structures and arrangements because it's just really tastefully done. And I, I've just never gotten sick of that album. It's like a go-to album. Well, <laughs> it's, it's both, like, because uh, there's different kinds of music that have, like, different elements that guide, you know, make you feel certain things about it. Like, there's some musicians that have a really good way of telling a story and you know, the song kind of like as you're listening to it, you feel like the time passing and like how the story is kind of unraveling. And but then there's some there's some musicians that kind of just dwell on the emotion and like kind of just focus on that. So I feel like it's 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 a really diverse you know question. Like there's there's both of them are very very different. I started making enough money to show that like, hey, I'm still having a great time like playing music, but I'm able to live off this. So like, this, this is working out. And like, there was just work happening, you know, I was doing a lot of shows with like various other bands and just like the, the demand and the fact that I wasn't just sitting around because it's really hard to have a constant flow of, you know, work because like I was working at a day job for three years. And then when I just, the moment I decided to quit, like it felt really liberating but for about three months I had no shows and I was literally like just depleting money from my account and I was like I need to I need to do something and then I started putting myself out there a little more like trying to get in touch with people and then it started becoming a more regular sort of affair where I knew that every month okay I have something happening it's not like I'm just sitting around which that's when I kind of realized like you know this is great this is going somewhere. It's like I hope I remember everything. I hope I don't. I have not switched everything off. Cause I mean, there's been times where I've not really like thought about anything and just gone on stage, and my bass amp has been off, and like we're already halfway through the song, and everyone's like looking at me like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Uh." So like, I always have a very clear mind. I, I mean, I don't really have a pre-show ritual, but like, it's just like make sure everything works. So far with us, I found like our biggest fans have been in Bangalore and Pune because we've had amazing responses there like every time that we've played there and like I think the last time we played at the Humming Tree in Bangalore, it's this really amazing venue that has a very indie vibe to it which really suits us and suits our music. Like we had like almost like a mosh pit happening in there and our music's not really like metal but like people were just like digging it so much. And like people would come like between songs on stage and like you know say stuff and it was just a really really awesome show. The hardest challenge I think is to always remember why you're a musician because like you you get carried away with like saying yes to a lot of people and doing stuff because you you tend to forget like why you're you know you're doing what you're doing and you just do like opportunities come by people always like ask you for stuff you end up saying yes because you're like okay I might I might make some money on this but do you really want to do it like I don't think I mean it, it, you will reach a point where I think you have to make really hard decisions and start saying no to people and just focus on the things that really matter to you and like focus on your individual growth because sometimes after you get carried away with playing a lot it's very easy to stop to like stagnate at a certain level and not improve in terms of like your skill level as a player or just the kind of stuff that you write, you know, it's, it can happen to everyone. So I think just self growth and just focusing on you is, is super important. Doing what you do and actually making money out of it and everybody's happy with everything. So it's like this very utopian situation <laughs> that uh, I think a lot of musicians in India have, a, have achieved this. Like, it's obviously taken time, but uh, they're playing the music that they love and people want them 
for that. They don't want them to play something else. Like you get hired to play your style of music or just everything that's about you. And I think that's success. You know, if you're just known for your art, like you have a signature sound. Like people need to work on that. And once you have that down, you know, that's that's success. I guess if I can just quit everything and just start writing. Hopefully playing all over the world, that's, that's one of my current like major goals. Because we've been playing India for a while, we you know, have toured various parts of the country and it's, it's amazing and you always get like a fresh response when you go to a brand new city. And it's just like, you know, to finally take your music outside the country where you know that there's people that really like that sound, like they'll really love it. It's just the, you know, the distance is what's stopping that from happening. Don't do it if you don't want to do it. I mean, it sounds really simple, but uh, a lot of people get influenced by other, you know, their friends and stuff and thinking like they should be musicians. But honestly, it, you really have to want it like 100%. It should not even be, you shouldn't have to question it even slightly. Yeah.